What's up, everybody? So Entertainment Earth, this is a company that I've dealt with for years now as a customer and also as an affiliate as well. Um, they've been very cool with me and they've sent me things in the past to share here on the channel. And recently they reached out to me and they actually gave me some options this time, which I thought was very cool of them. I, I really do appreciate that. But um, yeah, they gave me some options of things that I want to, you know, choose to share here on the channel and basically kind of review for you all now the last time they sent me a box if i'm not mistaken it was when they sent me some sodas and it was an amazing experience for me because i ended up with four chases which was pretty crazy i think that's the most chases i've pulled of sodas in just one video so that was definitely awesome but um before i get into sharing what they sent this time i just want to say real quick that i definitely appreciate this company because i'm very picky about the companies that I choose to deal with. I've dealt with some companies where I had people that were kind of rude to me and talked down to me and things like that. I've never had that issue with Entertainment Earth. They've always been, you know, whoever, regardless of who I'm speaking to from the company, they've always been very respectful and I very much appreciate that. So um, yeah, again, big shout out to Entertainment Earth, you know, for supporting the channel. And you all do make sure you check out to see what the, are the latest items that they have available, not just Funko products, but you know other products as well. I do have a link in the description. So yeah, check that out and see what they have going on there. And maybe you know you find something that you're interested in either purchasing, purchasing for yourself or maybe a gift for someone else. But I am gonna go ahead and get into what they sent me this time. And like I said, they gave me some options. And as far as pops are concerned, um, I went with the Marvel's What If Zombies. I wanted some of those pops because I haven't actually picked up any yet. So they did send me three of them. So we start off here with Zombie Captain America. This one was definitely a must for me. Now there is a jumbo size of him that is a GameStop exclusive and I think it's actually in stores already. And there is the Funko.com variant of Zombie Captain America where he doesn't have the shield and he's in a slightly different pose. Um, that one, I don't really feel like I need to have that version. I don't feel like I need to have the jum jumbo version either. I, I think the only way I would get the jumbo version is if it was uh, marked down and I came across it. But yeah, I definitely did want to get this zombie Captain America. Then another pop they sent me is the zombie hunter Spidey. And of course, this is Spider-Man with Doctor Strange's cape on there. And um, I am going to unbox these pops here and I will talk about them some more, you know, especially my thoughts about that particular episode as well as I get these pops out. So we got, again, zombie hunter Spidey. And then the third one they sent me is actually the zombie Scarlet Witch which looks like it's going to have some pretty good details. I've not seen this. I haven't, actually haven't seen any of these out of box yet. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting a closer look at the details on these three figures here. One cool detail with the boxes here, of course, is that it actually has an image there of the Watcher on them. Of course, he's a major character within the What If series. You know, he's the narrator and later in the season becomes even more significant than that. So that is a pretty good, cool detail there. Now, um, you know, I just had three of the pops here. I don't have the Zombie Falcon, which... I feel like I need to see that up close before I decide whether or not I'm going to pick that up. He was like barely um, in the episode. So I don't know. I got to see that up close before I decide on that one. And with the zombie Iron Man, I don't need the common because I'm actually going to get the uh, the glow in the dark Amazon exclusive. So, um, yeah, it's pretty good that I have these three particular figures here. And I know there is an unmasked variant of zombie Hunter Spidey. That's a hot topic exclusive. I'm not so interested in that one, to be honest. Let me go ahead and go in um, order here, though. Starting off with Zombie Captain America. Love the detail on this one, especially the tears by his mouth there. Just very gnarly looking, of course, there. And his suit is kind of chewed up and, and tattered and everything as well. They had this detail that they um, did with the previous uh, Marvel Zombie Pops, where you can see, like, bone beneath the skin. And even his shield looks all dirty and beat up and everything, so... Yeah, I really do like the details, the close-up details of this particular figure here. Yeah, and I'm going to, um, I actually have a section of my collection that's like Disney, you know, based off the Disney Plus series. So that's where these figures are going to end up going. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to expand on that um, section of my collection eventually because there's so much going on on Disney Plus. But I absolutely love it. I'm definitely not complaining. I really love that there's so much Marvel content that we're getting now. But yeah, this is a really awesome figure. This might be actually, um, I'm not exaggerating, this might be one of my favorite pops of the year. I love the detail on this. 
Um, I do think, you know, zombie Captain America maybe could have been used just a little bit more in the episode. Not not a huge amount more, but just a, his action sequence that he was involved in. If it had just a couple of more beats to it, I think that would have been nice. Now, I'm being completely honest here. Not about, you know, I don't have any issue with the figure. I do think the figure looks good here for the zombie hunter Spidey. But um, as far as the actual episode is concerned, I think a lot of people were kind of disappointed because, you know, we saw the glimpses of Spider-Man with Doctor Strange's cape. But when it comes down to it, there's not like a true marriage between um, Spider-Man and, you know, the, the powers associated with the cape and everything or even the powers associated with Doctor Strange. I think, you know, we thought there was going to be more of a sort of collaboration between the powers there. And there just really wasn't, you know. Um, so this was like barely even significant. I mean in the episode so yeah that was kind of disappointing i still like the look of the figure but it's just it, it almost feels like wasted potential within the actual episode and then the just the idea of zombie scarlet witch is kind of scary because just scarlet witch in general is scary you know she doesn't always have the greatest control over her powers and she's extremely powerful so you think about her being a zombie and yeah like i said that's kind of scary but then I, again, I feel like she was kind of underutilized within the episode. And even the way that she was used, I don't know, it's, it's questionable. It's really questionable whether or not Vision would have done what he did to help her out. I mean, I know he loves her, but yeah, it was just a little bit on the questionable side. It is interesting that the figure here actually does have this stand in the back because she's not really floating. But I don't know, maybe it's because of the, the thin ankles there or whatever, just to kind of steady her out, I guess, on the base. Yeah, it definitely keeps her steady, makes it easy for her to stand. So I'm okay with that. I really do like the wild hair sculpt here and the coloring. The paint job is really awesome on this figure. Okay, you kind of see some of those same details with the zombie Captain America up close. But yeah, it has some really nice detailing with the, the paint job up close there. Yeah, so I, I like the design of these figures, but that particular episode... It just it felt like there could have been so much more to it. Maybe they will do a part two in the next season of What If. And we know, you know, um, they've already announced that there is going to actually be a full on Marvel Zombies series, which I'm really looking forward to. And I hope with that series that they do include um, X-Men characters and Fantastic Four characters. I really hope they can do that or at least, you know, some more characters beyond the Avengers that we tend to see again and again and again, you know. But yeah, as far as the pops are concerned, I think these pops are pretty cool overall. And um, yeah, I will be adding just a couple more to my collection, including, like I said, that glow in the dark Iron Man. Uh, now I'm going to get into the sodas here that Entertainment Earth was nice enough to send my way. And um, I'm moving my camera back just a little bit because I think I'm going to need you know, more space up here. They sent a good number of sodas. I'm really excited about this. So I'm just going to start putting them up here. And I may kind of organize them according to genre, I guess you could say, basically. They actually sent these in bubble wrap as well. I'm just sliding the bubble wrap off. I'm glad they did protect these. Okay, so here's one. I actually have opened previously we have Pogo here and what I'll do is I'll sit all of these up here then I'll get the plastic off of all of them and we'll just go through and check to see what I got so I got the common Pogo previously I did not get the flocked exclusive it would be really nice to get the um, flocked um, you know well flocked chase I should say um, it'd be nice to get that but you know we'll see what happens and kind of a small count 7500 pieces overall and I'm really looking forward to the next season of Umbrella Academy as well, especially based off of how the second season ended. Really looking forward to that next season. Okay, next here, we do have Deadpool. <laughs> and I've not opened Deadpool at all yet. And I know he has a chase where he's holding his um, stuffed unicorn. So that would be awesome to get. Okay, next up here, I see another one I don't have. In fact, most of these they sent, I don't think I've um, opened these yet. Okay, so we have Beast Boy here, of course, representing Teen Titans. It's kind of interesting that um, that artwork there is kind of different from the way the figure looks. This figure looks like an um, older version of the character. Okay, but yeah, I think if I'm not mistaken, I think he has Metallic Chase in this 10,000 pieces total. Next we have, um, I don't have any of these. I definitely don't have any of the ones from Banana Splits. We have here a Snorky and um, yeah, just 7,500 pieces. Wow, that's, that's kind of a low count there um with the chase i don't know if it's flock maybe it's a flock chase i'm not 100 percent sure about that i think um 
I think the banana split chases have been flocked. I could be wrong about that. Somebody can correct me in the comments if I don't end up with the chase. Um, another one here. I'm I really don't know anything about Roger Ramjet. I don't know if he had like his own standalone series or I mean the way this logo looks it looks like he must have had his own series in the past but definitely before my time and I'm not sure exactly what his chase might be okay again any of these chases that I'm forgetting if I don't get the actual chase um you know you can help fill me in in the comments there okay so next one here oh yeah I've been looking forward to this one Aquaman I may have actually pre-ordered Aquaman as well but you know it doesn't hurt to get more than one so 12,500 pieces and he has a metallic chase yeah so this is just a classic look for Aquaman I'm glad that um this character is you know taken a little bit more serious now some people still look at him as kind of a silly character but I think um some things in the comics and also Jason Momoa playing the character, I think he gets a little bit more respect now. He also is really awesome in the um, Injustice games as well. Okay, next up here, there's a, I know some certain ones I wanna kinda keep together. Well, actually, no, I'm not gonna worry about that so much. Oh, this is another really cool one I've been waiting on, Casey Jones. Yes, Casey Jones, 10,000 pieces there. Um, I think the coloring is just different with his chase. Uh, I think it's a slightly different design in terms of the coloring. I'm not sure if there's actually anything different with the mold for his chase there. Okay, so that is pretty awesome. Um, we also have Snow Miser here. I don't have any of the, um, I don't think I have any of the other holiday ones yet, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, Snow Miser here. Um, his chase, I'm not 100% sure what it is. Is it like diamond or something? Again, I'm not sure. Maybe it's frosted more. I'm not sure. You know, again, somebody can fill me in in the comments there. There's so many sodas, it's tough sometimes to keep up and remember all of the chases. And I don't think I have this one here either, Naruto. If I'm not mistaken, this one I think is, I think the chase is mostly yellow and then it's glow in the dark. I think that's the way that it is. Okay, this one's slightly higher count, 12,500 pieces. So um, I think I got them all out of here and that is definitely plenty there. That That's really amazing that you're so kind to send this many sodas how many do we have here we have actually um, nine sodas all together so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get the plastic off of these and then I'm just gonna run through them and we'll see what I got here hopefully some cool chases all right the plastic is off of all of these now so we can go ahead and get into them um, the only one like I said um, I think I think I'm right about this the only one that I've had previously is Pogo so I'm actually gonna start with him and I think I got him from like a random uh, mystery box I got yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure I got Pogo from a random mystery box. Like I said, I did not get the chase. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start with him. Now this, if, if this is another common, then, um, and you know what, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and check the Pog right now because if this is another common, it's just gonna go into my um, prize pool basically. So let's see what we got here. And yeah, it is another common. So I'm actually not going to open this one up. I'll keep this one in the bag there and um, Something I do want to point out as well. I just had to pick up the lid there. Something I want to point out as well is like I have I'm not gonna have the um sodas in my regular prize pool anymore. I'm gonna do separate soda giveaways, and it's probably gonna to tend to be actually six at a time. It'll actually be one of those like crate style boxes, six at a time when I decide to do a soda giveaway. So um yeah, like I said, Pogo is gonna go into that mix basically for the prize pools. Um let me see what I want to do next here. Let me go with um, Roger Ramjet. Like I said, I don't really know much about this character, so let's go ahead and check him out here. And I'm gonna just go ahead and get the figure out because um, yeah, the rest of these are gonna be keepers for me regardless. I don't have them already. And with him, I wouldn't even know if I recognize whether or not it's a chase because um, yeah, I can't remember what his chase is supposed to be. He is such an odd shaped <laughs> character. Look at how he has his um, chest sticking out all puffed out so much. I'm assuming that this must be the common. It looks exactly like the one on the can. So yeah, this is the common. Again, I don't know what the, off the top of my head, what the chase is. So somebody can um, fill me in about that. But uh, yeah, very interesting looking character. I guess this is meant to be a helmet, but be, because of the way it's designed, it just looks so weird. It's that very, way throwback Hanna-Barbera style and maybe he is a Hanna-Barbera character you know somebody can let me know if you know anything about this particular character but I'm just not familiar with him at all I do like the face um, design though you know he has that cool smile going on there 
I, I'll be honest with collecting pops um, you know some of them of course have mouth sculpts or you know mouth designs but not always so sometimes I miss seeing that you know with certain characters that they you know don't have a mouth at all um, next up here let me go with I kind of want to say the Naruto one because if that's potentially glow in the dark if the, you know I get the chase then I do want to show the glow um, at the end of the video so I'll save that one let's go to snow miser um, like I said this is my first holiday one and I think I'm not sure if I pre-ordered all of the holiday ones I think I at least pre-ordered Rudolph you know um, so yeah I'll have Rudolph in a, a future video okay so let's see what we got here with snow miser Again, I'm not sure if I would recognize if it was the chase, because I'm not sure what exactly it is. Um, just to look at it, I don't think this would be a chase. It looks, yeah, it looks pretty much like the one on the can there. I do like the um, the transparency there with the ice on his nose, and you know he has the iced out hair as well, and so much detail. Like th this is a really intricate kind of head sculpt going on there. So very cool looking figure. I guess I might have to get. Um, yeah, and this is the common. So I guess I will have to get, um, who's the other character? Heat Miser? Yeah, I think I will have to order him if I didn't order him already. Okay, because they do look pretty cool together, no pun intended. <laughs> and um, I don't know if I ever watched that actual old um, stop motion animation, um, you know, cartoon with those characters. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, I really do like the look of that figure. Let me show you him again real quick really nice details of course he has the ice cane as well that's pretty awesome yeah that that hair looks so awesome the way they did that really nice there yeah so that is a really awesome looking soda figure there uh, next up let me go with snorky um, <laughs> banana splits again I I don't know about them I've heard that the uh, show is kind of weird to watch um, even even kind of creepy to watch so I don't know if I'll ever check that out myself but um yeah let's go and see what we got here uh, and Snorky like I said I think would have a flocked chase and this looks is this flocked yeah this is flocked so yeah we got the flocked chase here for Snorky that does look pretty good up close and I really do like um, these flocked sodas I think I like the flock sodas maybe even more than the flock pops. That is pretty awesome there. Um, I don't know if this will get me to go after the other characters of Banana Splits. I'm, I'm not sure. We'll see. But it is nice to have this one here. So yeah, you found the Chase Flock Snorky. Wow, only one is one out of 1,250. That's a pretty low number there. I like that artwork too. So yeah, that is awesome. That's an awesome hit there. Yeah, I do like that. that that's pretty cute. So, kind of interesting there. The first chase. Let's see if we get any more here. Um, let me go with next. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead to Aquaman. And remember, Aquaman has a metallic chase. Which would be nice to get. But, oh, okay. We got two in a row here. Wow, this looks so good. That looks so good. Yeah, I really like that. And I'm going to end up with a, a common, I'm sure, because I did a pre-order. I might have pre-ordered um, two of these, actually. I'm not sure. So I'm, I'm definitely going to end up with the common of it as well. But that metallic paint job is awesome. That looks really good there. Okay, so let's check out the Pog. Hey, you found the Chase Metallic Aquaman 1 out of 2,000. Yeah, 1 out of 2,000. I actually like that artwork there, too. Man, that is a good-looking Chase figure. Okay, very happy with that one there. Um, we'll see if we end up with, uh, you know, last time, like I said, with from um, Entertainment Earth, I ended up with four chases. Let's see if the luck will keep going here. Um, I'm going to go with Beast Boy next because he's actually, um, like I said, a metallic chase as well, if I'm not mistaken. And I never really got into the Teen Titans too deeply. I, I watched a little bit here and there. I feel like I kind of missed out and maybe should go back at some point and, and check out more of the Teen Titans animated series. So, is this metallic? Looks kind of dark. No, this, I think this must be common. Or if it's a metallic paint job, it would be real subtle. I kind of like his design regardless, though. That sort of punk rock style that he has going on. That's a very cool hair sculpt as well. Check out the details with that. 
Yeah, he's got the sideburns there or the mutton chops, whatever you want to call them there. Got the ponytail, spiked hair. I like too how he has, you know, the fade kind of going on there or, you know, just the, the straight up um, shaved head there in the middle of the hair scope. Yeah, and that nice colors on the outfit. So very intricate design here. Like I said, this this design looks older than the character that's actually pictured there. Um, somebody that knows more about Teen Titans, I guess, could explain what, what's up with that. Okay, but yeah, this one is the common. Yeah, I figured it was the common there. It one out of 8,400. But nice figure regardless. It is a nice looking figure. Very colorful. Okay, so let's go ahead and sit him back there. Um, I'm gonna go with, just got three more to go. I'm gonna go with Casey Jones next. Casey Jones, this is kind of a heavy one here. And um, I'm, I don't have, I don't think I have any other, anything else from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles except for Baxter Stockman. Um, I did have to go for that one. I wanted to chase for that one. I struck out on it, but it's all good. Okay, so with him, I could tell right away this has got to be the common because um, I think the chase, I think his outfit has more black to it or, you know, some black to it. So it's, it definitely looks different from this. But I really like this character. He is one of my favorite characters from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay, I love how he has the different, you know, um, different weapons, you know, sporting equipment, basically. It's pretty awesome. And I was pleasantly surprised in the first live action movie. I did not think that they were really going to use Casey Jones or to have him in the movie as much as he was. But um, that was a pleasant surprise for me. So, yeah, we got the common here. One out of 8,400. Okay. So, unless these last two here end up being chases, we're not going to have, you know, as much luck as we did before. But these are still some really awesome figures and really happy with the chases I already have here. So, I kind of want to save Deadpool for last. But I'm going to go ahead and check him out. Just because, like I said, Naruto, if we get that chase, it would be glow in the dark. So, that would be good, a good one to finish up with. So let's see what we got here with Deadpool. And this one will be easy to recognize right away as the chase because, like I said, he would have his unicorn under his arm. And I'm pretty sure that I did pre-orders for Deadpool as well. So if I don't get the chase now, maybe I will later. Yeah, and this is not the chase. But that's all good because, like I said, I will get another chance at the chase for him. And I actually like this one, him giving the double thumbs up there. So that is pretty cool. I wonder if they're going to end up doing some more sodas with Deadpool because, you know, there's a ridiculous number of the pops. So it'd be interesting to see if they decide to do any more sodas with him. Definitely like the artwork there on the Pog. It went out of 12,500. All right. But yeah, it'll be nice if I do get the chase. If not, I'm not going to stress it too much. I actually have a good number of soda chases already. So we're down to the final one here. And this is probably kind of a long video. But, uh, you know, we'll see if I can cut it down some for you all. But, uh, yeah, down to the last one here. Let's see if we lucked up and got that glow-in-the-dark chase of Naruto. And this should be recognizable right away if we have it. Uh, I don't think so like I said I think it's I think it's yellow altogether if I can't remember for sure to be honest this is an awesome looking figure though right away and I'm sorry I don't really know the series well so I can't tell you about all the details of what is going on with his outfit and whatnot but um very cool looking figure though yeah great details to this really great details so like I said, I don't think this is, yeah, it's not the chase. This is a common as well, which is fine. You know, that's fine. But I, because I'm not a big fan of the series, I don't think I'll try again for this one. Oh, let me show you the Pog real quick. Pretty good artwork there. One out of 10,500. But uh, yeah, awesome looking figure there. So this was still a good one to wrap up with. Yeah, these are some really cool soda figures here, though. I, I'm, I'm such a fan of this line of figures. I think it's one of the coolest Funko products, you know, and it seems like it's doing pretty well. So I think sodas are going to be around for a long time, and I'm very happy with that. And uh, again, big shout out to Entertainment Earth for being so kind, you know, sending me all these awesome sodas here and the pops as well. I really do appreciate it. You all remember, do make sure you check out Entertainment Earth. Link in the description. 
um, you know, show them some support because I think it really is an awesome company. And like I said, I'm kind of picky about which companies I deal with and especially which companies I promote on my channel. So I really do think Entertainment Earth is pretty awesome. I genuinely believe that. And I do shop with them myself. It's not just about what they send me from time to time. I actually do shop with them on a regular basis because I do like that company. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all so much for checking it out. I really do appreciate that. And I will talk to you all again real soon.